smoke some gangs to start your motherfucking house We a set this bitch out Set this bitch out We a set this bitch out Once that music shit start taking off All that shit start getting real, real serious You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit start getting real, real serious Like them bitches really target a nigga I'm Shellwood Marty, you feel what I'm saying? The Fresh Prince of Shellwood. I come from Shellwood, Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you feel me? I gotta get that brick boy tattoo on now. I got an auntie named Auntie Arja. She used to call me Marty Marl. So that's where the Marty come from. And the Shellwood just come from the hood where I'm from. Yeah, I'm from Brandywine. That's a couple blocks of the street, you feel what I'm saying? But this is the horseshoe. Feel what I'm saying? H and R block. You hear me? This is where I did most, shot most of my music videos at. At the beginning of Shellwood, baby, when they had the lift fight, that's right here where we standing at right now. We was riding the lift four wheel and shit, all that shit was right here. Shellwood, baby, that's like my biggest song. That big, I like two million views on there. That's that shit that really made me feel like I could make it. You feel what I'm saying? With this rap shit, though. Made me feel like I really could be a part of the industry. You feel what I'm saying? As you can see, a nigga still in the hood. You feel me? Ain't shit changed. Nigga just got a little more fame, a little more money. You feel me? They gonna keep chasing that bag, though. We really shot the shit with baby video. This was a band, though, right here. Somebody just moved right there, though. Free all my fucking dogs out that video, too. Like, half of them niggas in jail. Like, everybody in jail. It's crazy. That's why you barely see. You see, man, you see, I got like three people with me. You feel what I'm saying? That's because everybody in jail. You feel me? Them bitches, like, once that music shit start taking off, all that shit start getting real, real serious. You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit start getting real, real serious. Like them bitches really target a nigga. Feel me? All that shit just a part of the streets, part of the game. Feel me? When you in that shit, you gotta just know what come with that shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's my biggest supporters, my family and my homies. So that's like another big motivation too. Just everybody around me believing in me more than I believe in myself. I think about quitting music every day. Every other day, there's always a time where I just look like, man, fuck this shit. Then my manager's dream pool get to blowing my line up. I get to forward and they shit. You feel me? But they they kind of be keeping me level headed. You feel me? Most of the time when I want to quit, I be in Baton Rouge though. When I be out of town, I don't be wanting to quit. When I be in Baton Rouge, a lot of stuff passed my mind that made me want to quit rapping. I took a lot. I lost two hundred thousand at the casino this year since February. It's the biggest loss I took. Besides the death of my homies, you feel me? But like, as far as financially and mentally, that's just the biggest loss I took. Most definitely, my son motivated me for to keep going hard. Every day, I'm just looking in his face, you feel me? Even though like with a kid, it really don't take much, you feel me? I go buy him a toy for a dollar. He still gonna smile. Like, it don't matter what it is. Him, he him, he not judgmental or none of that yet. You feel me? Record flooding is ravaging parts of Louisiana. That is a significant amount of precipitation Louisiana in a short period of time. Louisiana continues to dig itself out from devastating floods. While the waters have slowly receded in many areas, the hard work of rebuilding lives is just ramping up. Shellwood is the whole hood. This is apartment complex. They got like 500 doors back here. They be, this shit been shut down for years. They got one person live back here. That building over there on the backside, that's the apartment I used to stay in. But this where I'm from. From Brandon Wine Apartments, you hear me? 10950. Have you ever heard me say 10950? I'm talking about these apartments, you feel what I'm saying? I won't be known for having that bag and respect. Like, money, power, and respect. That's all I want to be known for. My biggest goal is for to get me rich and everybody around me rich. Like everybody. Like, I'm talking about the, when I say somebody broke around me, I want to be, be saying they broke by saying they only got 100 bands or something, you feel me? Before I die, where I'm standing at right now, I want to own this shit, you feel what I'm saying? All these buildings, I want to own all this shit, rebuild this shit, you feel what I'm saying? And I, this is where me and my family going to live at, you feel me? We got them bricks on the way. Gonna move that shit in a day. Me go hit the line, he say them bricks on the way. I feel like a lot of a lot of artists just be rapping, just trying to say what the what they think the fans gonna like. I really just rap my life. Like, I rap what I live. Like everything I rap, I did it or seen it or doing it. All I needed was a shot. Gave it everything I got. Since I made it, nigga wanna play. You talking about guns? We got a lot. Niggas ain't no time. Don't let that stop my grind. 
I can't tell you the last time I wrote a lyric, man. It's crazy. I really, I go ball for ball though. Like, if I think of four balls right now, I'ma lay them four balls down. All right, man, let the beat play. I'm ready. Sometimes I go in there and run a whole 16. You feel me? But like, I don't really write no more. I very seldomly write. Most of the time, like, my recording process is just going off the vibe I catch. Then I catch that right vibe, it's gonna be up. Like, don't get me wrong, it be more lyrical when you write, but it sound better when you don't write. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But yeah, like, like when you write, yeah, it's gonna be more lyrical because you're putting more thought into it. But just your vibe and your sound, that's how you master your sound. Like, you're not gonna master your sound right. Because when you're writing, it's like you're reading off a of paper in the studio. Feel me? But when you freestyle and you vibing, like you're in your vibe, you're in your zone, you saying what's, you really saying the first thing that come to your mind, but it's really more authentic. You feel me? Because you really think about your life, you think about what you got going on. You writing, you niggas be writing, they be writing a whole nother nigga life. You feel what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> Shit just fucked up. Oh.